Hey, what's good, YouTube? Nath Mass Collector, back with another Mail Week video. Today is May 29th, 2021. Um, this is the last seven days of mail that I've gotten in with sports cards. Um, I've done some, like, bought into, like, uh, breaks on eBay or, you know, player breaks, things like that, so get quite a few cards in the mail here and there um and also I bought some graded cards things like that these up here are some of my recent ones that I've gotten in past videos but we'll replace those with this week's once we get to them for graded cards um and we'll start here with uh King Griffey Jr so Donruss 1991 all-star Nothing special. It just looked really nice. Um, you know, it was like a $2 card, but it looked nicely centered and everything looks pretty sweet on it. So, pick that up. And we have um, some more Bowman's Best Honor Roll. Uh, here's Stockton and Barkley. Um, on the Stockton side, there's huge scratches on it, so it's not really going to work out well for grading but um you know sometimes you just gotta take the l's sometimes you know not everyone's gonna be a 10 just gotta go in with that mindset um picked up another garnet with stack house on the back this one looks pretty good it's a sweet card garnet second year card uh, Scotty Pippen, got another one of these with and Dave Robinson on the back. And these are for, uh, 97, 1997 Bowman's Best. Um, I actually got this one from the same seller as that previous Pippen. And this is the Atomic Fractor. And I have said in past videos that I don't really like the Atomic Fractors compared to the regular ones simply because. Um, it just doesn't have the the pop to it. Like the jersey on the Atomic isn't as pronounced. See that shine on the regular refractor? On the Atomic, it's, it, there's nothing. So I prefer these. These are actually harder to grade too, I think. So, but picked them all both up from the same the same seller. So I figured, what the hell? We uh, had a good deal there. Love those cards. Um, let's see, going to, so these are kind of some from random breaks and whatnot and uh, some freebie stuff somebody would put in here and there, but um, here we have Kyle Kuzma. I had him in a player break for contenders. It was, you know, $2 or whatever to get him. And I hit a silver playoff ticket one. Uh, I had Clyde Drexler and I picked up this legendary silver. Uh, this one somebody gave me for free from a sale that I had with, with them. It's a Jordan card for upper deck, I believe. Uh, Trey Young Marbles. He's been having a hell of a playoffs right now, man. It's awesome. Uh, I had John Collins in another player break. I got a Ruby Wave. It's not, it's not numbered. And then I actually I hit a Silver Auto, Sticker Auto, but still Silver. That was cool. Not numbered or anything, but I did hit John Collins the same card, but a gold out of 10 on a break about a month ago. Uh, here's uh, Kevin Porter Jr. Had him in a player break. And we got a silver. Did pretty well, actually. Silver at two hypers on that. And then I just picked up his uh, orange wave. It's out of 60. Which is cool. It's his team colors, too. Looks really nice. Um, I had Giannis in a contenders players 
player break and I hit two of these cards. These uh, sweet shots. Um, picked up his Marvel's press proof, so it's got a gold instead of uh, silver. Looks really nice too. Uh, I have Rodman in player breaks, and I got a uh, Fearless Silver, uh, regular silver. I just bought this as a single, the Pink Ice. These are like the new um, boxes. These are like the special cards that come in it. So you'll be seeing lots of these from, you know, if you guys are watching eBay sales and stuff like that, the, the Pink Ice are rolling out. And mad amounts. Uh, Rodman Beam Team 92 Stadium Club. Um, Christian Wood Green NBA Hoops Premium. Uh, pick up a blue one. These are not easy to find anymore. Um, here's a Contenders Christian Wood from this year opening night ticket, which is it's uh, out of 25. So his first uh, card with his uh, Houston Rockets uniform on. Orange ice. Um, let's see, got another green. Red, white, and blue. A red out of 299. A blue out of 199. Uh, NBA hoops out of 199. Another one. 190 out of 199. This is a red. It's out of uh, 75. Here's a out of 25. And then I got a press proof out of 349. Donruss. And this this one looks awesome. This uh, Mojo Blue out of 49 from Donruss. Really neat. Like the looks of that. And then I kind of got hooked on hockey. And um, Kirill Kapriza for the Wild. So the guy's a stud. And um, he's probably going to get Rookie of the Year. These are cards that I bought off of eBay. I bought a stack of 10 of these from a seller. And these are from the, the rookies set, the 25 card rookies set. Um, and uh, so it's got all the, you know, just top 25 rookies. And then there was, it's like 20 bucks a box. I bought 20, I bought a case, I bought 20. So I bought 20 boxes of that, but anyways, somebody, people were pre-selling these things while they were still in stock on Fanatics or anywhere else for that matter. When things are still in stock, people are, are looking for that. So when people are selling shit, like for just ridiculous amounts, the price comes down pretty damn quick because everybody's got the stuff or it's still available. So, so I had 10 of these for five, um, for five bucks a piece. So I picked those up. And then I actually found two sets at Walmart just the other day. So there's two of these in here too. The one thing I wanna point out on these cards, this set specifically from what I can tell is that when you get up and you check out the, uh, the edges on this, can see it there's like a little crack line um, right on the top if you can see that little line little cracks going all the way across it from when it was cut so they all have it who knows what will happen with with grading but they're in there so there's 12 of these. They're all really good condition, except for that, that I can tell 
So one's got a little ding in the corner, but other than that, um, you know, this is kind of like one of those cards that are really cheap right now that are probably going to be worth a lot more here shortly because I think all these sets are sold out now, from what I can tell. So I'm glad I picked those up. And then since I got the hockey bug with that, Mike Madonna's my favorite player growing up, um, North Stars, and then on to the Stars. But so picked up a couple of his, um, just you know, base rookies from Score and uh, Upper Deck. This is this is the rookie Star ones, but I also picked up a couple of his. Uh, um, graded cards so opichi premier um from 1990 gem mint tens got okay i think i got one more coming too so like a couple of those flip flop here and then i picked up uh Ken Griffey Jr. Uh, rookies 1989 glossy tops, or it's, that's his rookie year, but it's 1990 tops glossy rookies. Um, near mid eight, it's more about buying the card than the grade. I actually have one of these sent off to um, HGA. I sent mine off to, yeah, that I've had since I was a kid. So that was at HGA right now. I'll be that'll be cool to see what it comes back. I asked for a custom label and kind of gave an idea of what I wanted. But um, so I picked this up. Just love this this card, the design and everything. So awesome. And then I picked up three of these LeBron Mint Nines from the same seller. Um, they came in. And the top one had a big crack in it. It's, it's like, it's, I think it's damaged the card inside of here. It's like almost pushed in. So I sent the pictures of it to the seller and he's like, yeah, I'll give you a refund and give me a refund and it's all good. So probably have to, I'll probably crack it open and see how the, uh, how the card is, but I think it's got a dent in it now, but, um, Got these other two, which is funny too, because I have more. I just got them back from PSA that I had uh, um, I had graded recently, and I'll have that video up here too if it isn't already. So that's where we're at with those. Um, and oh yeah, if you're wondering, I, I made these um, these stands on my 3D printer. So this is just a basic shape or whatever. Yeah, but um, I mean, I measured the card, you know, the, the case, the width, the all that crap, just to try it out. And then um, this one here, I tried out Tinkercad and um, made made my own kind of like icy ice block type of thing. Um, I haven't like finished it or um sanded it and, you know clear coated it or anything like that it's pretty much just cured it's a uv cure but it turned out really cool um think about other designs as well that i'm going to try to do i need to engineer this one a little bit better so it sits up a little bit higher it's a fit up what there but as long as you got the right dimensions on the width and the on the length it's gonna stay in there it's not gonna be all floppy but these work pretty good these actually the, the holes too big it's too floppy but this one here is perfect boom so that's cool got my name on there and all that crap so awesome uh thank you guys for checking out the video really appreciate it if you haven't yet please subscribe um i'd really appreciate that make sure you like the video give it a thumbs up uh leave a comment let me know what you think uh, let me know what you think about these stands. I was thinking about um, doing more designs and maybe selling some of these things at some point. So, um, if you guys got any ideas or anything like that, I was thinking about lights and everything. So, it'll be cool to kind of engineer these things out. 
kind of get into that crap. So um, appreciate you guys for checking out the video and um, we'll see you in the next one. Later.